Good Monday, makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. We've got a really special one for you this week. We are going to feature all the hacks and conduit ideas that have been posted to the community. Normally we do builds, but we had great engagement from the community. A lot of cool tips and tricks and hacks. Let's get into it and check it out. The first one we've got is by Peter. Peter posted this uh, hack where he used a stainless steel closet rod holder as a way to secure EMT to the bottom of the table. And he even uh, linked the Amazon product there that you can check that out. So if, you, if you're interested in that and want a way to connect EMT conduit to a flat surface uh, with a flange, go and check out this community post. The link will be down in the description. But we really appreciate that, Peter. Thanks for the tip. And another one that he posted, same thing by Peter, is a way to bend EMT into a complete circle. And this is really cool. He posted a, uh, a link here to um, this how-to PDF from Woodenville Wonderland. And shout out to them for creating this, uh, where they go through what tools you need and then the method for bending EMT into a complete circle. And I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of it, but it's good reading and really descriptive. And, and there it is, check that out. It is EMT, uh, well, really bent into two half circles and then a coupler in between. And then uh, he talks about, depending on the diameter that you want, if you want a really big diameter, you might use three pieces of EMT or four pieces of EMT and uh, couple them all together. But such a cool how-to. And again, this is by um, Mark, in, and he's got a website here. And let me, let me go to that really quick, check that out. He's got a, a light display that he puts out and a whole website about that in the Pacific Northwest. So shout out to him, be sure to check that out. And then the other person that he gives credit to that I wanna make sure that I mention in this is uh, Peter Peters in Walter for Walter Monkhouse. And they've got another website all about Christmas light display. So check them out. Great how to, and thanks Peter for, for showing us that. The next one is by Mario. We've got two posts by Mario and he has a uh, company called MIA Microflight. And my understanding is they do, um, they do remote controlled ultralights. Uh, and it's their deal. But he came up with some really cool things here. First is a way to modify the conduit and bend the conduit. Uh, I should say press the conduit so it fits inside of our connectors and goes around the bolt. You know, our connectors, got they have one bolt that goes through to close down on the two pieces. And he actually came up with a way to modify the conduit so that the bolt went through the connectors and the conduit to give a more secure connection. And he put a video out as well. Here's a, a picture of what, what Mario's talking about. See how he pretty much pinched the conduit, the ends, and then drilled it? And that matches up with the inside geometry of our connectors. So cool, um, really interesting modification, and we love seeing it, Mario. Thanks so much for making a video about it too. Uh, I'm really curious to see how it ends up. And Mario was also, excuse me, Mario was also looking for a die, possibly produced by us or, or, or someone to modify the ends of the connectors to make that a, um, a quick thing. And um, we really haven't thought about it too much, Mario, but we appreciate the idea. Please keep in touch. Let us know how it works out, if it works for you, and uh, something we can talk about down the road. So. That's really neat. And then if that wasn't enough, Mario also posted this really cool DIY conduit bender that he made. And you can see he did a video about that too, but here's an example of what he did. He took, and he, he's calling it a precision conduit bender, which I totally get because a lot of the times when you're, you're using your foot and using a traditional conduit bender, um, it's tough to get that angle exact. And what he did was he took the head of a conduit bender that you would get, and he, he says a Klein conduit bender that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store, electrical supply store. And then he mounted that to a board. And he's basically 
uh, using that as the jig to bend or the form to bend the EMT around, but instead of using the ground uh, to, to push against the EMT, he made this lever here um, out of perforated steel uh, square tubing and then put a, uh, a machined rubber wheel uh, with a half moon cutout to fit around the conduit where he levers it over and then really precisely bends the conduit uh, into a shape. And he, he mounted that all against the piece of wood. So really cool DIY invention for building with conduit and bending. And he's making this great go-kart that you see a glimpse of in the video. But please uh, check out the video from Mario. Thanks Mario for the tips. Keep us posted. We love seeing those kinds of things in the community. It's great to see. And the last one we've got is, is again from Mario. He was on a tear. He, um, there was a question by CJ. CJ was looking for an easy way to uh, make a clothes rack portable. So you could take it, uh, put it down, and then build it back up easily with just without any hand tools. And we, we get this a lot. A lot of people ask about thumb screws. Can you use thumb screws on the connectors? And uh, the main obstacle is just being able to get it tight enough with that small uh, thumb screw. You need some good torque to get the connector to cinch down on the pipe. So what Mario suggested, he chimed in and said, how about the quick release cam connectors uh, that you find like on a bicycle wheel, mountain bike wheel or something like that. Um, and uh, that's a really neat idea. I don't know if it works, but I think it's cool. Um, CJ, you know, I hope you're able to to finish your project and maybe use Mario's suggestion, but I love this interaction between people in the community. That's what we're all about. Anything to make it easier for you to pull off your build. So if you like stuff like this and seeing neat tips and tricks, please consider subscribing to the channel and go to the community, check out these ideas. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much.